Well, he hello everybody and welcome. <laughs> welcome, yes, here we are. Uh, the beautiful end of April afternoon here at Etna Furnace. And um, Jennifer and I just got back from uh, doing a couple of workshops out in Tucson, Arizona, and also at Walnut Creek in just outside San Francisco so a big hello to all of those uh, who who we, who we met there uh, over the last couple of weeks in those two places beautiful and we looked at cactuses and um, giant redwood trees and also we went to we went to the um, Yosemite National Park, which was a real treat. Uh, fantastic. So, anyway, back here now in Pennsylvania, and I'm glad to s say that uh, winter has finally abated. <laughs> and we have a couple of really nice days here. So what I've done is I've um, just setting up outside here, put out a table and some pots, and I've brought down my little Shimpo Aspire electric wheel and um, I'm going to I'm just about to get ready to do a little bit of a bit of throwing before I do that though um, I just wanted to show you something to swing the camera around because I did say I would my neighbor Gary is trying to sell his beautiful historic house which you can see here it's a stone uh, beautiful stone built house it's been completely gutted and renovated inside and it is very very nice uh, real attention to detail everywhere beyond the house up there he has going up amongst the trees right up to the top about eight acres of land um, oh, I should say that there is a small stream running in front of his house and there's a bridge there you can see um, as you can see the Forsythia is out at the moment he also has got a guest house with geothermal heating again f completely renovated and done up from top to bottom it's like a new house but it's done in an old style a little turning area there with the guest house sign and the road goes on by a little bridge over there that you can see to give access up to the house I'm going to put I'm going to put a link to this house to his house um, probably underneath this video and you can go there and uh, if you click on the link it'll take you directly to the uh, to the website of the realtor that is selling the house please do not contact me in relation to the house okay just thought I'd mention that so anyway going to bring the camera back up here dee, 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 dee. so yes and this is our place of course the our, well it's not ours my landlord's house and um, this is the old tenant house here. Both of this, this house and Gary's house, my neighbour, were all part of the Etna Furnace complex, dating back to 1831. In fact, Gary's house and this house and the barn up the road and the furnace and the blacksmith cottage were all built around about 1831. So it is a historic um, place. And uh, there's a lot of iron in the soil here and uh, bits of glass slag. From the top of the the iron furnace so um, yeah as you can see here back to what I'm doing here you can see I've put a table out and because it's a nice day and um, 
and we're just set back just a little bit from the road so the idea of course is you know if you if you can put some pots out and have a visual there for people then and then you know people are much more likely to to stop and come and have a have a have a look into the gallery likewise i'm actually out here now and i'm going to be doing just a little bit of i've just got to do a little bit of clay prep down there so let's get down to the bench there and um i've just got a, some clay that i'm that i'm getting ready I have already kneaded this partially. So, what we're going to do is batteries have died in my digital scale so I can't weigh anything Let's get down to the wheel and uh, yeah I haven't been able to to weigh up my clay because the the scale is Let's bring it around this side I think so there we are let's just uh, sit down there and sometimes when I haven't made any pots for a while well I have been away making pots on workshops but just to settle back into my own routine I like to start by making a bowl so that's what I'm going to do Insects are coming out.
Should we bring the, the camera a bit closer? Should we bring the camera in a bit for a bit of detail? Why don't we? Dee, 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 dee. I'll lower the, I'll lower it a touch and then we'll come in How about that? Yeah, this apron I got given I got given to me by Walnut Creek with their logo. <laughs> So, okay, so I'm going, what I want to do is, is throw just a, an opening wide-ish bowl, which will be for trimming. So as we get wider, we have to watch our speed, don't we? Especially with these electrical wheels. And make sure we've got enough water. You know, when you make a bowl, what you really want to do is make sure you have a really nice inside curvature. And I find one of these is useful. To do that. We we'll drop the speed down. So I'm profiling the inside of this bowl with this. I don't often use a, a rib, as you know, but sometimes a, having a rib is useful.
Now, if, if by chance I haven't quite got that curve exactly as I want it, I can come back to it if I just leave it a little while just to stiffen. But that's not too bad for now. going to cut it off the wheel I'm going to cut I've just cut it off the wheel but I'm I'm going to I'm actually going to leave it here just for a little bit in the sun just to stiffen off a bit before I actually try to lift the bat off the wheel you know the bat the bat is is on the wheel with two bat pins isn't it but sometimes it gets a bit sticky and sometimes you're trying to lift it off and you 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 jolt yourself like that and if you've got a delicate bowl the bowl will will sag so it's better just to leave it having said that it's actually coming off quite easily so I, maybe we'll just get it off so I wanted to show you the bowl sideways on you see Okay, well, I'll, I'll leave him there for now. Okay, folks, good to be back with you. We've had a bit of a break for the last couple of weeks, but maybe we get another clip in and I've got to go off to, uh, to Snohomish in Seattle to do a workshop up there, May 4th through 10th. So, um... They may have some spaces still on that workshop, so anybody who's up in that neck of the woods, Snohomish, Seattle, Washington State, um, contact the contact Brian Reed at the nwclayclub.com, nwclayclub.com, and he can give you information about that workshop, whether there's still any vacancies. I think he may have some vacancies. Okay, folks, that's all for now. Um, lovely to hear the birds again, isn't it? And to have that warm sunshine. Hey, keep practicing. We'll see you soon. Dee -dee 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 -dee.